Hi, I'm Grace Graydon. I'm here joining you today just to remind you how to align your body in mountain pose. And you can come to this pose at any time during the day while you're waiting in line, waiting to get something, standing six feet away, of course. <laughs> so just bring yourself into a space that's comfortable. I'd like you to put your feet at a parallel, number 11s, just a little space. They can touch or they can be a little bit apart, but we're not out here. We want them at least under our hips. So rock back and forth. Find your heels and your toes. We're grounding into the earth. And then pause. Pick up your toes. Drop your little toes, middle toes, big toes. Root down into the earth, even though we've got shoes on. All right, so we're grounded into the earth. Come up to your knees. Your knees are shock absorbers. I want you to use them. We don't want to hyperextend. We want to just have softness in our knees. All right, now come up to your hips. Your hips are a bowl of water. So you want this bowl of water to be level because if we do this, we're spilling our water. So stay level. So the tailbone tucks down towards your heels. How hips are level. Shoulders over hips. So we've stacked our joints, our shoulders, our hips, our knees, our feet. We are stacking so we can hold our bodies up. All right, we're going into the body. Mula Bandha, pelvic floor, lift it up. First root chakra, life force energy. We're the only ones that can hold ourselves up and in. So use this. Now, tighten your glutes. Big difference. Biggest muscle in our body. Use this muscle because it helps hold our bodies in. Uniana Bandha, belly button. Bring it in and under your ribs. So lift from here. So we've just engaged all of this so we can hold ourselves up. Come up to your chin. This is a grapefruit space. So we keep our eyes at the horizon. We're not looking down our nose at anybody and we're not looking up at the sky. So just find your level. Close your eyes. Now roll your shoulders back. Try to bring those shoulder blades together. One or both at the same time. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to lift. All right, so start at your feet again. Feel the energy from your feet to your knees. Ease in the knees. Come up to those hips, nice and level. Tighten your bandhas, tighten your glutes. Shine your heart, shine your throat. Bring that energy all the way up to the crown of your head. Breathe in and fill. Reach down with those fingertips and empty. Release the tension in the shoulders. One more time, breathe in, fill, fill, fill. Exhale, release. Now I'm gonna have you take the energy all the way up and have it shine out the top of your head and surround you in a beautiful bubble of protection. This bubble is like the kids play outside, Aurora Borealis on the outside. You can see in, you can see out, but it protects you from all the nonsense that's thrown at us every day. Keeps you safe. Keep this bubble around you when you're driving your car. Take this bubble around your family, around your friends, around your community, around the YMCA. Maybe we take this bubble around the earth to make it a better place for everyone to live. So if you forget you have this bubble of protection, this energy bubble, take it out of your pocket, breathe it in, and exhale it out, keeping you safe. You can do this in the grocery store. You can do this waiting in line. You can do this in the silence of your own house. Take one more breath in and let it go out. And we're gonna just end, take a big breath in, bring those hands up, bring them over your head, palms come to touch, look up, and then exhale it down to your heart. Namaste.